Chomo News presents amazing B&B rentals and luxurious hotels. Trivialist presents insane, crazy, and amazing Airbnb rentals. Number one, the secluded Atlanta treehouse. How'd you like to stay in this magical treehouse? This isn't the treehouse you had as a kid. Katie and Peter's treehouse features three wonderfully decorated rooms, all connected by rope bridges. If going back to nature sounds like your ideal way to wind down, then this treehouse might be for you. Look at the way each room just opens up to the world. This treehouse is located in Atlanta, Georgia. Host Katie and Peter say you can get there in a 10-minute taxi ride from nearby Marta train stops. This Airbnb listing is so awesome, it was once featured on Treehouse Masters Ultimate Treehouse 4. Guests describe it as relaxing, romantic, and dreamy. But Katie and Peter warn there's no heating or air conditioning, so you'll want to make sure you pick a good time of year to visit. Number 2. The Joshua Tree Dome House Ah, oh, Joshua Tree, the perfect destination for your mushroom LSD spirit trip. How original. The locals are tired of it, but if you want a genuine Joshua Tree experience, you could live a few days like a local at this awesome dome house in the desert. The outside looks like Luke Skywalker's boyhood home on Tatooine. The inside is a bright and airy two-bedroom home. Hosts Catherine and Brian said they created this dome house as a personal escape from busy city lives. The secluded home is far from its nearest neighbors, but close to the town center of Joshua Tree proper. At night, you can walk outside, look up, and see an unobstructed star-filled sky. Or stay inside and chill with a good book. Number 3. The Vintage Trailer in LA Loft this next Airbnb listing combines two favorite hipster trends, trailer living and loft living. It's your very own trailer located inside a downtown loft. Host Harley describes the trailer as a vintage 1954 trailer. By vintage because he means old or uh, original. That trailer is parked inside a massive 6,000 square foot loft in the downtown LA Arts District. The trailer provides guests privacy. Outside the trailer, guests have access to shared bathrooms, a kitchen, and other living areas. The loft is used as a live workspace. Harley and a couple of other cool people live in other parts of the loft. You could stay in a hotel, but where's the fun in that? Number 4. The Nevada City Covered Bridge House Covered bridges are a wonderful part of America's architectural history and heritage. Now you can live inside one of these beautiful structures. Check out this covered bridge converted into a New York-style loft home. Inside, you can see where the bridge's support beams now provide support for the home's roof and walls. The hosts have paid attention to every detail, combining industrial and modern chic. The bridge home is located in historic Nevada City, so you won't be far from downtown events and attractions. But honestly, if you were staying out in this relaxing retreat, would you ever want to leave? Number 5. The California Mushroom Dome if you really want to get close to nature, check out this mushroom dome house in Santa Cruz County, California. This humble abode is located on 10 acres of land, so it's just you and Mother Nature. Host Kitty and Michael recommend bringing your camera so you can snap the beautiful hummingbirds that call this part of the world home. Or you can pet their goats and drink their milk, uh, the goat's milk. The mushroom dome gets so busy that weekend summers are normally booked six months in advance. We can see why. The quirky nature house is located just 10 minutes from the beach and is surrounded by nature park. Number 6. The New Mexico Earth Ship Want to live the off-grid lifestyle but don't want to give up modern conveniences such as Wi-Fi? Well, in this cool and funky Earth Ship studio in Tahos, New Mexico is the place for you. Check out this beautiful space. How the sun just illuminates every room. Why is it called the Earth Ship? Well, for starters, it's surrounded by Earth. It also catches its own rainwater, generates its own electricity, and stays at a steady 72 degrees all year round without the use of any fuel or electricity. Let's talk about the modern amenities. There's Wi-Fi, Netflix, a large refrigerator and oven, so living the off-grid lifestyle doesn't mean you need to go without. That's everything on the inside. Check out the outdoors. Host Dan says his favorite thing to do is go for walks at sunset with his dog. Number seven, a Scottish castle. Are you a fan of Downtown Abbey? Then we got the place for you. It's a Scottish castle located just a short drive from St. Andrews. This massive castle sleeps 13 people in six bedrooms, perfect for a large family vacation or an event like a wedding. This castle's history runs deep. 
It was first sighted in the 12th century, and over the centuries, this castle has been the location of secret Scottish parliaments, military sieges, and the safe haven for escapee monarchs. The castle fell to ruin in the 19th century. But then, in 1992, it was bought and rebuilt by the current owner, who restored the castle to its original medieval glamour. The Great Hall is the life center of the castle. The dining table seats 12 and is surrounded by beautiful artworks and sculptures. After dinner, there's plenty of places to relax, or you can work off the meal walking around the massive castle grounds. Situated on six acres, you're surrounded by woodland, gardens, an orchard, and a large open grassy area. Number eight, the German yurt. How'd you like to live in a Mongolian yurt? Well, now you don't have to go all the way to Mongolia to do so. You only have to travel as far as Germany. This Mongolian yurt is in the lower Saxony part of Germany, but forget the kraut life because you're going to be living like authentic Mongolian nomads. This yurt sleeves up to four people in four yurt beds. At the center is a wood-fired oven. The host says the chimney is insulated so uh, you won't choke to death on smoke. Outside the yurt, you're surrounded by beautiful fruit-growing countryside. The only thing this yurt doesn't come with is a water closet. For that, you'll have to go use the host's bathroom, which they're totally cool with. A Mongolian yurt in Germany. Two great tastes that go great together. Number 9. The Pittsburgh Mirror House Are you vain and self-absorbed? Then you'll love staying in this mirror house located in Pittsburgh. Inside and outside, surfaces everywhere are covered with mirrors. You'll feel like you've died and gone to disco heaven in this artist's home and studio. But in addition to being loud and brash, this large home is well appointed. Check out this kitchen. We'd love to cook up a meal or two in there. And you'll have plenty of room for company and plenty of funky conversation starters as well because this home contains many original works of art and furnishings. As you can see from this photo, indoors and out, this place is massive. Up to 10 guests can stay here. As a guest, you'll have access to this, 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 oh, and this. Well, thanks for checking out these insane, crazy, amazing Airbnb rentals. Let us know in the comments which ones you'd check into. Laters. And don't let the bed bugs bite. And trust me, there's always bed bugs. Trivialist presents the world's most luxurious hotels and resorts that you'll never afford. Have you ever checked into a four-star hotel and thought to yourself, Here, here, Walter! Egyptian cotton sheets? What am I, a dirt-farming peasant? Disgusting. If not, you're probably a member of the unwashed masses who could only dream of staying in a four-star hotel, much less a five-star one. So, until great proletarian revolution sweeps aside the bourgeoisie and throws open the gates of the Ritz-Carlton to the likes of Carlton the Sweaty Plumber, this video is as close as you're gonna get to ultimate luxury. So palpitate your envy glands for the world's most luxurious hotels and resorts that you'll never afford. Our first splurge cabin, where you'll never take a family holiday, is not only out of reach due to its price, you're not even allowed to bring your family. At $1,133 a night is the all-inclusive Secrets Marquee in Los Cabos, Mexico. The presidential suite at Secrets Marquee advertises an in-room infinity pool, spectacular ocean views with guaranteed migrating whales, an on-site spa and golf course, specially commissioned sculptures and infinity pools, and their trademark unlimited luxury, uh, whatever that is. But the resort's most important feature is that it's an adults-only experience. In the parlance of remote exclusive luxury accommodations, adults-only means swingers club. So if you're ready to swap arm candy with other geriatric swingers, head on down to Cabo. The next resort in order of least affordable to bleeping unaffordable is the Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi. It's a $1,361 a night Khalij Deluxe Suite has all the amenities you'd expect for you and your two favorite wives. Enjoy a balcony with a 180 wraparound view of the Gulf's oily blue waters, an ensuite dining room, lounge jacuzzi, and a slew of guest services. The Emirates Palace concierge service can arrange everything from a private jet to camel riding lessons. Oh, and there's a windowless shipping container on the roof to serve as an accommodation for your slaves. Ah, I mean, assistance. The third resort you'll never get to see is the $1,900 a night Cayo Espanto in Belize. The resort occupies its own private four-acre island with exactly seven villas on it. You can rent them all for the bargain basement price of uh, $12,000 a night. 
Amenities include a private dock at every beachfront villa, a glass bottom floor in your room so fish can look up your skirt, you get a personal chef, a personal dive master, a butler, and an infinity plunge pool in every room. With such a small population in such a remote location, if you can't afford to stay at Cayo Espanto, you could always take it over with a band of pirates. Arr. We're jacking up the prices even higher for our number four unaffordable digs. If you missed the camel riding lessons last time, then good news! You'll have another chance if you stay at the $12,000 a night Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai. Yes, the Burj Al Arab, otherwise known as that hotel that looks like a sail, is the ultimate in Emirati hospitality. Without skimping on the ostentatious gold-plated decorations, every two-story suite is filled with the most modern amenities. The Burj Al Arab offers helicopter transfer service or an attached helicopter pad if you brought your own whirly bird. There's also hovering tennis courts, a fleet of Rolls Royces, a fleet of personal butlers, four swimming pools, a private beach, and a water park. Yes, the Burj Al Arab is the perfect place to unwind and forget that hydrocarbons are a disappearing resource of constantly diminishing value. Those Gulf Arabs are pretty serious about luxury, I guess. But what if I want somewhere that's so exclusive, it'll be underwater in 30 years? Then hijack yourself a boat and head to the Indian Ocean, because our number five expensive dive is the St. Regis Villa in Mauritius. The St. Regis Villa is actually four villas in one, making it the biggest villa on the island. And it had better be, because the quadruple villa will cost you 30,000 bucks a night. It features an outdoor heated pool, a private stretch of sand, Nintendo Wii, and most importantly of all, a butler who will go to any length to satisfy your discreet requests. Oh, if you're not a billionaire, you might not be familiar with discreet requests. It means prostitutes. The butler will go down to the docks and bring back a couple women of the night to play Wii sports with you, or whatever sports you're into. Video games and prostitutes, huh? That sounds pretty neat. But what if I'm so obscenely wealthy that I don't want to stay on an island crawling with rather wealthy commoners? Then Musha K in the Bahamas has just the accommodation for you. Conveniently located in the Northern Caribbean, the resort on Musha K caters to exactly one guest, you. For just $37,500, the entire island is yours. Of course, there's room for 24 guests of your own choosing, who you can divide up between five palatial guest houses. Enjoy activities such as diving, deep sea fishing, and a personal fireworks show. Or hell, you tell them what you want blown up and they'll give you pyrotechnics in style. Kaboom! The uber wealthy may have finally met their match with our seventh amazing accommodation. Going for around $40,000 a night, it's the Hilltop Estate Owner's Accommodation on Laukala Island in Fiji. Unlike most of our tropical palaces, the Hilltop Estate isn't located on a beach. Instead, it's at the highest point on the island, making it our most defensible resort on the list. Defensible in military terms, I mean, not defensible in price. Like seriously, $40,000? Fiji's Laukala Island is the personal property of that Thai billionaire who invented Red Bull. The property is so exclusive, you need to apply for permission to even book. But before you spend the entire annual salary of a public school teacher on a hotel room, wait till you see the next place. Avert your eyes, dear viewer, lest you be consumed by the glory of the single most expensive hotel suite on planet Earth. This is the Royal Penthouse Suite at the Hotel President Wilson. Located in Geneva, Switzerland, one night in this room will cost you about $83,000, or about one bar of Nazi gold. If God needed a hotel room, he would stay here. The Royal Penthouse Suite smites all other hotel rooms, then reincarnates them as Porto Johns. Guests will enjoy 12 bedrooms, 12 bathrooms, a wraparound terrace with views of Lake Geneva and various mountains you may consider buying. And of course, the suite has your usual staff you'd expect in this price range. A no holds barred butler, a chef, an assistant, uh, and the Pope. There, now you've seen all the places that you'll never be able to afford to stay in as long as you live. So you might as well return to your hut made of mud and sticks. Until next time, enjoy the plague, urchin.